Hey guys, what is up? It is Young Tactician coming at you with a brand new series, the How to Counter series. All these videos are going to be VOD reviews, and this time it's featuring Vladimir, How to Counter Vladimir in Season 10. So essentially, how to what you want to do to counter Vladimir is take the following rune page I take, because this is one of the best scaling rune pages in the game, and it allows you to just kill him early game, because Poppy will conquer in an extended trade, will just completely demolish vladimir and you'll see here shortly why <clears throat> so you'll see here in the first part of the laning phase what i look to do versus vladimir is that i look to try to go for e good e opportunities and good extended trade opportunities you don't come out ahead on short trades because of vladimir sustain so what you want to do is just generally farm as you would accordingly you just go for every last hit that you can and try to look for those good e opportunities um the only two really good times to be using e is to eat onto a minion to go for an extended trade versus vlad uh when the waves are even or when he puts himself in front of a wall so you'll see here um as we're csing we kind of get into a, a short little trade and then you'll see that i punish him very hard for his p misposition which is top lane is all about just punishing your enemy mistakes you see here i get the extended trade and this guy's chunked like he's so fucked all right so then after that is just a lot of general laning i'm just gonna fast forward up a bit um he manages to get a really good big push onto me because i'm going so much for trying to look for extended trades which actually fucks us over um when my jungler comes to gank here so the wave is in a pretty bad good spot to gank but i'm not level three yet and when I eat onto him to try to eat and then Q him, like I mentioned before, I actually missed my Q. So we don't end up burning like a single thing from him besides pool. That's a replay bug. He's pulled. Um, it's just showing he's invisible. Uh, I don't know. I can't really fix that. Sorry, guys. And so, yeah. But I just go back to turret to farm the minions as accordingly. But then you'll see here. Vladimir shows up to contest, like to harass my jungler while she's doing scuttle crab. But I have to farm wave, but as soon as I'm done farming wave, then I'm able to walk down because I'm ahead of Vladimir now. He's level four and level three. So you'll see here Graves actually steals Scuttle with his W, which is so unfortunate. But what happens here next is really important and what defines a top laner is. And this is to be able to punish your enemy's mistakes. That is Poppy's playstyle. Punishing your enemy's mistakes is. So the second I see Vladimir show here. I'm looking for the flash you i have the angle all i have to do is flash forward here and that aligns me directly within the wall between him and the wall so i do exactly that and it's just easy like it's ex this is what top lane is just punishing your enemy's mistakes so fast forward my team is trying to um set up a gank top lane here so what i do is e onto a minion q him and then i go for the extendo Unfortunately, he has alt and phase rush, so he just pulls away, so we don't get much out of it. But my team does set me up for a solo kill that I get later now here, because he's chunked, which is good. Um, always want to be able to cap. You may think that like that that happening is like fuck, we didn't get him, or like now my waist pushed in. But you have to look at that as an opportunity now, because my team set me up for a solo kill. So if we just fast forward here. What the first thing I do is I harass him with my passive. And I'm looking to actually get the Waston, but due to his positioning, look how he's positioned. I can't get the Waston from this angle. I'm looking just in case if for some reason he walks a little bit more forward, but I can't get the Waston from this angle. So what I do is I just duck back into minion wave and I notice that he's actually hovering center of the wave. Um, so I re I just reposition um, based on his movement to try to get a Waston in. I see here that he stutter steps back and forth. So as I'm moving up in lane, rather than what he should be doing is moving up with me up this way. So he doesn't get wall stunned, but he actually does the opposite and goes down and positions himself right here, which is a huge mistake that I, another one that I just capitalize on. So I notice he's stutter stepping here. I press W to get the instant speed buff and then the magic happens. And he's just dead. <clears throat> so then, yeah, I just push in the wave as I should after getting a solo kill. Um, but their jungler does punish me. And I just die. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. So you see here, now that we're back to general laning, it's in a frozen state. The first 
thing i'm now that i have executioners i had executioners on the last solo kill by the way guys forgot to mention it rush executioners versus vlad best thing you could do um if they're heavy ad and healing besides vladimir i'd say go bramble just so that you don't fuck yourself over with the executioner purchase after but if they're like what their team comp is right now you could go executioners it's perfectly fine so the first thing i look to do when he's in wave is as i mentioned earlier i just e onto a minion q and then i go for the extendo extendo meaning the extended trade and look how much damage i just deal to him because of conquer and um whatnot So he's actually following me here, so I can eat to a minion wave again when it's back up. I force pull, and I first his ultimate. Two huge cooldowns that I got down. So as soon as the wave gets shoved in, I'm looking for the dive. I do make the mistake of missing a turret play, which is like pretty huge. It's 123 gold. But I, I'm thinking that he, he might walk back this way so I can get the free dive. And the team is pinging me to be careful because I don't see cast, nor do I see graves. But I do have my ultimate up. And the ultimate is the game changer with Poppy. So as I'm just here, I have flash though. And as soon as he misaligns himself, I go for the flash. Because the flash E, because it's really hard to react to. So you'll see here. I have the flash E. If I flash here and then I E him, he gets stunned. Which is exactly what happens. And he's just dead. So their jungler comes and gank me. So what I do here is you have to play on, for your ultimate, it's really kind of easy to dodge with dashes um, if they see you casting it. But you have to play around brushes. It's my favorite time to cast ultimate. It's from when an angle they cannot see you. And you'll see further in the replay, I continue to do this. So as soon as I walk into the brush, I charge my Kamehameha, I send it as flying, and we're good. There, I see their Leona comes top after, so I, I just back as I can as I should. So you'll see right here that Graves has actually managed to dive my Kaisa. And right here, this entire time my TP's up. So the play I should do is immediately like TP here onto this ward to just punish his dive and get um the kill onto him. Because he does have a big bounty as well. But I'm so hesitant here, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should TP or not. Like, I don't know what I was having brain lag, but I do end up TPing, but I TP way too late. So now I get three men collapsed on by Vladimir, Graves, and uh, Leona, and they just fucked me over. I fell flash onto Graves, and I just die. Um, so it's my really first big mistake. I want to show what I do good, but I also want to show what I do bad. Just so you guys understand that, like, you, sh you should also review your VODs to say, like, what I did bad. Really take the time to analyze to see what you did wrong and what you could do better. Um, because sometimes it may not be as apparent, but that's, like, my really big first mistake. So you guys see right here, as we're pushing and farming out waves, uh, Skirmish is about to break out. So they herald mid lane. So they're looking to pressure mid. Shivana is starting to scale. Uh, so her her E's are doing a lot of damage because she's AP. So right here, I run into Vladimir in the jungle um, before the team fight breaks out. So I'm safe to go for an extended trade if I could chunk him before the team fight, which is exactly what I do here. But I don't commit to him because I see his team whole team rotating to me. So Cass actually misses her alt here, and she misses her Q as well. So those are two big cooldowns I managed to burn down. Uh, Thresh gets a really good flash Q here. But because of the grounded state, I'm unable to follow up on this, even though I have flash. I can't, like, I can't follow up on this at all. So I look to use my flash on one of these guys, someone else that I could maybe kill. So I see here, I just position myself. And I get the, I'm able to get the flash E. They have no vision of us here. I don't know that. But I see that Leona's positioning herself near a wall. So I do exactly that, and I flash E. And then I alt Graves away for just safety. And then my Shivana is able to cherry pick MF as she was one villaining Lucian and then she won, but she barely just won. So that's also our first winning team fight. So right here, um, we'll see that the enemy team just got Dragon and they might be looking to take Baron. So before they uh, take Baron, I prioritize taking Scuttle Crab, which is actually really big um, because they're gonna try to force a Baron play. Because they are a little, like, uh, they are ahead of us at the end of the day. So they do want to be looking to teamfight. And they do have the better early game 5v5. 
um if you look at both of our comps but because i take scuttle crab like it's no sweepers will like not tell us that they're on baron or anything on like that so that's huge so you'll see here as like the fight is about to break out they're zoning over here but i'm hovering for the flank so i'm just doing my job hovering so they're getting them pretty low with the shivana lucian harass kaisa harass and i'm just looking to e someone so i see gray's misposition here so i just w e him and then i q and then i walk straight up no one on their team could really catch up to me and i also my away here like i did my job in the team fight but my end but my teammates um end up doing the mistake of just like walking playing into Ka uh, cassiopeia leona misfortune so cassiopeia gets a huge alt here hitting two people and stunning one misfortune gets a big alt onto two nuking thresh vladimir flushes onto us and my team just plays that so badly i was walking around for the flank but realistically what we should have done after picking graves is just disengage because we're if we're fighting this team comp from fog of war there's some crazy things they could do to us like they just did there and then um i just try to run away but they end up killing us all <clears throat> so they end up getting baron here and now we have to play uh from behind so the enemy is now committed to sieging us you want to see the opportunity to flash through my uh kaisa so she does exactly that and then ms follows up with their ulti so like she's pretty much put out a commission already into the fight they run us down not much we could do here we're just getting shit on and yeah it's really bad for, looking really really bad for us so they actually kill our entire team except for kaisa shivano who managed to run away they siege but here's when the game gets interesting. So the enemy team actually has the opportunity to end the game here. Like, 100%. But Kai Cassiopeia, for some reason, walks into, like, pretty much our fountain. Um, Misfortune follows her up instead of auto-attacking the Nexus. She literally walks into fountain. Cassiopeia gets sniped. Vladimir Zanya's here. I don't know why his animations haven't been showing the entire game, by the way. And we managed to get the triple kill and they don't end the game. Like, that was a free end for them. And then you'll see here that we actually managed to come back from this game. So after pushing out the waves, um, we actually have three dragons. So this fourth dragon here is a huge, plays a huge part into us winning because of the cloud soul effect that it gives of the increased movement speed um, that we get after casting our ultimates. And movement speed is one of the most underrated stats in the game. Being able to move faster just lets you, like, team fight way cleaner. So that's huge for us after we manage to get... After we manage to save our base, essentially. So I'm just gonna fast forward here a bit. <clears throat> so we see Baron coming back up. So they're looking to force it. So we have no vision on it. So we just end up giving it to them essentially. No point of forcing it. I get an ulti, but they still manage to get it. And then we just don't fight it at all. My Lucian dies, but we end up getting killing leona so we trade one for one not really a big of a deal because they ended up getting baron so essentially the enemy team recuperates they siege bottom lane which they can it's really hard to defend tier twos at this point because um it's a lot further from your base and they're like really squishy especially when they have baron empowered minions So right here they're looking to siege our tier 3 bottom side because um if they walk into our base they're essentially forcing a five versus five um what they should have done is probably send vlad on a split or cassiopeia on a split and then siege us four but they're choosing to siege us five which actually works way better for us so you'll see here my positioning i'm positioning in a way where i could get a good ultimate you want to be able to frontline us poppy but ulting away people in a team fight is way bigger um priority 
rather than just initially frontlining like most other most tanks. So Leona flash ease here, she pulls the trigger onto my Kaisa once again. But you'll see here, look at my angle, I'm coming in with the alt charge. I get a huge three-man ulti, which pretty much like wins us the team fight. I'm thinking, hey, we could maybe just kill Graves if we focus him. Um, but Leona is literally tanking four of my team, four of my teammates and a turret. Like that champion is balanced. But I should have eat her, um, because it would have been way redder, way easy to kill her. So she manages to eat onto me to get out. And the team fight goes neutral for now. So me and Thrush reset. And then we're gonna come back in hot uh, with home guards. So Shivana ults in. Her E is like huge. Thrush gets an amazing hook. I follow with the E. Uh, fortunately, I just frontline for so long that I'm put out of commission onto the fight. So I see my teammates are fighting here, but I don't really focus on that. I have teleport. I have this word up as well. So no matter how the, the team fight is going, whether we're winning or losing, I want to reset and then TP as quick as possible. So I do exactly that. And then we end up winning the team fight, but I'm able to TP to get the cherry pick. And that's huge for us because that's going to allow us further to get uh, Arrowed right now. Arrowed. <laughs> Elder Dragon, my bad guys. So now we just play, um, now we're just trying to use Dragon to the best of our capabilities and trying to win the game. So right here, we end up grouping as five and then sieging um, the enemy team. But we don't have Baron minions, so it's really hard to siege them as long as they clear wave. So you see here, they just do a good job of clearing wave. So we, we don't really siege them, we're throwing out poke. So I see this and I actually decide to go split top because we have a wave pushing in. But I don't have TP, so I ping my team to be careful. Um, because if they force a four, five versus four, I'm gonna be, it's gonna take a little time for me to come into the fight. So you'll see here, uh, I'm just playing top side as I should. <clears throat> and then we end up breaking, having a team fight breakout on us shortly here. Actually, no, we go end up uh, fighting near Baron, I believe. And we do end up coming out ahead on the fight. Uh, but we do make a miss macro play after shortly. So you'll see here. So once again, they do the play of forcing Baron. But this time around, like we're a lot stronger to be able to actually walk in here. So you'll see again. I get an Eon to Misfortune and I take it. Auto wait two people, and I do die in the process, but my team is able to clean house here. That was so worth because I put two people out of the fight, and then I had one person CC locks for the remainder. So my team comes out ahead on the fight. So what they should do here is actually push. So what they actually do here is like they make we see Vladimir here. We saw him on the scrying orb. One of my teammates should have followed to cancel his recall. Because then he just gets to do this, which is a really good play from him. He TPs back to the Nexus turret. And then... He actually holds down the base long enough. We try to go for the end. But realistically, what we should have done is just reset after the inhibitor. Because look at the respawn timers. And Vladimir has a good amount of wave clear. We have no wave at this point. So they can't siege. Shivana's not tanky enough to take turret. Minion got... The Terry got the um, buff because there's no minions around. So they punish us really well here from going straight to Nasher because we they know we need to reset. So we just have to give Baron at this point. So the enemy team is kind of back into the game. But what we do in concordance is that we like, okay, Elder's coming back up shortly. So let's just get vision control around Elder and we'll try to secure it. So I push out top wave as I should be doing. Elder's responding soon, you guys see it, it's responding soon. I don't know how to pull that up on the map, but it's responding soon. My teleport is almost up, I'm pinging my team. But what I have to do essentially is just keep the waves pushed out because we do have an open base. So we get vision control of like dragon in the top side just by hovering it and I'm still pushing out mid lane. So then we have to force someone mid, pretty much. 
If they don't, like, it's really bad. Look, we have, they have this wave, and it's so bad for them. So, like, this is really good for us, because now we have Pryo mid on a super minion wave, and other dragons coming back up. So, it might just throw them into, like, miss macro play later on. So, you see Cassiopeia actually goes mid lane. She doesn't, she clears the wave pretty fast, though. So, they do, uh, Lucian does end up doing pretty good amount of damage before the fight. And you'll see here, look at my positioning in this fight. I'm just, once again, looking to get a good ultimate before the fight even starts to make it uneven. <clears throat> so, like, I know they have no vision here because Thresh just cleared it. And I'm just positioning myself for a big ult. So I get the one-man ult, not bad, but look at my MS positioning. I just punish and I kill her. My flash is not that good, but at this point, it doesn't matter. The team fight, Leona deep dove while I just picked my MF and I ulted away Vlad. So, like... The, at this point, the game is already done. We just have to team fight accordingly. Smite Dragon, do all of that. So Graves gets so greedy here. Like, he's desperation play. He flashes into four people to steal the dragon. But even if he got dragon here, I'm pretty sure we still win the game. So yeah, he flashes into his death. So does Vladimir. Um, I zone Cassiopeia for the majority of the fight. And that's how we win the game. I TP behind there. Doesn't really matter at this point. I get the kill with Elder Dragon and the enemy team FFs. And that's how we win the game. And that's how to counter Vladimir. Um, I like to turn these how to counter series uh, after the laning phase into like kind of a VOD review. So I'm uh, like, if you guys want any feedback, please drop them below because I'm going to be doing this for the next like two, three months. Hopefully I cover like at least like 15 to 20 matchups. I already have like 10 in the works, meaning like the thumbnails for like those common matchups are done for but yeah if you like the video make sure you like comment and subscribe and then make sure that you leave any feedback that i could somehow improve these videos but thank you so much for tuning in and uh make sure to be there for the next one